evangelist Dr. Felicia Onehu was born on the 3rd of May 1943 to late Mr. Igbinosu Aho and late Mrs. Alice Ikoyeme Ohumume Aho in Ubuyoho, a local government area of Edo State. She started her early education in Ubuyoho Primary School and later proceeded to Our Lady of Apostles Secondary Model School, now named Uwe Secondary School in Benin City. She got married to late Elder Siri Onehu in 1964 and were both blessed with many children. Although late evangelist Dr. Felicia Onaiwo did not have a former university degree in business, she had a very high business acumen, which led her to several startups that she develops into successful businesses. In 1967, she started her textile business, which grew into a multi million enterprise. Having established her mark in the tester industry, she diversified into the hospitality industry. By the grace of God, through foresight, aspiration to remain relevant and influential, she worked hard to establish Felona and Sons Limited with the following subsidiaries include Hotel Felona, Feli Goods Royal Hotel, Felona Testers, Felona Shopping Centers, among others. Let me first of all say I miss her. She's good, she's nice. In the area of business, she was successful. She was my role model. I learned, I learned many things from her okay. in this business. When I was coming up, I was buying from her. I get to a stage, I, I miss her advice. She was so nice. In short, there's nothing to compare. I've never seen part two or nothing to compare. So, I would say this is second fellow. I have not seen it. I just pray wherever she is, they are so rest in peace. I get to know her growing up. She was a friend to my mom. They were all in textile business. In New Guinea market. In fact, they were the women that really, that really brought out textile business in Benin City. They made textile materials popular in Benin City that people became aware that there are things you call ashwabi, there are things you call copion lace, beautiful laces that you can use to go into parties and marriages. They've done so well for textile materials. In Nigeria, home and abroad, they've done well. I knew Madame Felicia growing up. My mom was a member of her club, Mrs. Uh, Felicia Igbe. She was a member of Lovely Matrons. So, and she was their president. So, all the while, I, I do see her. She's a lovable person. She's a woman of great magnitude. She empowers young other women coming up. And she's a mother that gives a listening ear. So she's a woman that has a heart of grace. Evangelist Mrs. Onaiwu, I know her as a very good woman, a very nice person. I can call her, I cannot call her a friend because she, she was like a, a sister to me. And uh, I think in the hospital, what I mean, the hotel business, She's extremely very good. I think she has got a test here in Benin and in Lagos. And she was really doing well in that business also. So her cars are her kind of person. Oh, she is a mother to many people, including me. In actual fact, she because of her, she was able to take me to some places that, that I couldn't have loved to be there. But she would normally um, advise you, take you as a daughter, advise you and put you to some of these, uh, to some friends that I didn't even know before. So I think she's really, really a very good Late evangelist Dr. Felicia Onewu was first introduced to Jesus Christ 
through the weakness of her son, Pastor Lucky Anahu, who became a Christian as a teenager, though from a family of non-believers, and served God with fervency and a wavering dedication that made her curious. She later embarked on a journey to discover God for herself and God born again through the ministry of late Apostle S. E. Ogboma of Christ Apostolic Church of God Mission. As a member of the church, she faithfully served the Lord in the ministry of helps, winning many to God's kingdom through her love, acts of kindness and infectious enthusiasm. Ever since she gave her life to the Lord, she has endeavored to do what God wants her to do. Felicia Onaiwu, she's a mother indeed. Her contributions towards choir, when she does it to the choir members, that's how she does it to every member of the church. She's our love group leader before she left now. She has been treating us well. You can see all the love group are putting on the same cloth. This attire she bought for us in Harvest. She's so good. The way she raised the congregation, the ushers, and many other groups in CAC. In fact, only God can reward her back. In 2019, she joined the House of Favor International Church, Benin City, with the concert of her pastor, Reverend Dr. Gaspar Ogboma, where she continued to serve the Lord faithfully until her transition to glory. Sister Naiwu, the mother of Sister Naiwu and myself, we are both first cousins. What, what I mean by that is that the, the, the father, the grandfather, and my father were born of the same mother. And uh, well, we grew up within the same family. And uh, from the time she was a young lady, we can, even though at that time we can't say that uh, this is what God is doing, but we know her to be very special. Very hard working lady hard-working, helping the mother. The mother is uh, Madame Koyeme. And uh, until uh, when the Lord began to reveal her star. And we, we, earlier, like I said, uh, there is evidence that she's going to blow. And uh, until when she came to the knowledge of the of truth, of uh, the Word of God, and from the time she got to know God, she had been a leader of leaders. She's a, a help to the helpless, a hope to the hopeless, and a woman who loved the gospel. Uh, I was joking with some people. I said, for the past 10 years, I, I don't buy Christmas dress with my money. As my sister, she just come and say, this is yours. That's just... Uh, I, if I want to buy, I just go and buy. Sometimes I don't care to buy because I know that at the end of the year, something's going to come from her. She's a generous woman. But the greatest of all, it came to a time that we got to discover that she has the gift of evangelism. And uh, after Papa left, we ordained her as an evangelist. And since then, she has been a mother to almost all the so we will not only will ask the sister miss her and uh, the pastor, very many people, because we call her the Dokas of today. There are people who will come on that day to say so much more than what I'm just saying now. Uh, but the greatest of all, she is the love of children. The scripture in Luke 10, 27, you must love the Lord your God with all your hearts, all your strength, and love your neighbor as yourself, summarized late evangelist Felicia Onaiwo's life in words. She truly loved the Lord and did not miss any opportunity to be in His presence through attendance of worship services to express her love and devotion despite her very busy shadows. She was selfless and generous in every way and became a lifeline to many hopeless and helpless people and transformed communities through her philanthropic activities. Late evangelist Felicia Onegu built churches, 
schools and invested in good causes such as startups, family and community health care support, orphanages and many more too numerous to mention. <laughs> I am appreciating God with a boss for evangelism in the church and also given 500,000 naira for the maintenance of the boss. Let evangelist Dr. Felicia Onaiwu was a very, very unique person. Uh, she embraced Christ and followed him very passionately. Uh, I have known her all many of her days in the Christ Apostolic Church of God mission uh, to the later part of her life when she worked with her son. I it is worthy of note that she is a very joyous person. Uh, you don't meet her and live sorrowful. She cheers people up. She lifts people up. You got to discern it and uh, prove that God can take the little and make it great. So uh, we will miss her. We are glad that God gave us opportunity to have had her on this side of eternity. She raised up very godly children and they, they are doing well as we uh, prepare for her final rise. My prayer is that God will strengthen the children and they, all that her friends have associates and all that she left behind and that uh, we all try to uphold her virtue and values that she exhibited here on earth. Not with Felona, she's popularly called. I would say she was the Dorcas of our generation. Dorcas. There is hardly any Christian woman that have an encounter with her who do not have a close to her. There is hardly any Christian woman. Then, if you are a, if you are a minister of God, maybe as a, 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 you know a male, hmm, you can't tell me you know where one of our is. So that is why I call her the Dorcas of this generation. She was the Dorcas of our generation. A fellow now, you don't need to attend the same church with her before she can be a blessing. What she wants to hear is Jesus Christ. Whether you are from church A or church B O, there is nothing like denomination. That death has created great vacuum in the land of Edo. Well, Billy will say, Ariya Bonana Yowa. Yes, I want to really dedicate this special song to her because uh, she, her good works, Lady Felona on her good works is going to follow, is what is going to follow her. Not the houses, not the clothes, not the shoes, her good works is going to follow her. My prayer for the children is that the legacy their mother has left behind, they should be able to build on it and become better. Like I told it, uh, the song, the first song, my friend, my brother, Pastor Loki or my uh, daughter tells me that. Mommy has great followers, so, so don't just think you are the only biological children. <laughs> Mommy has so many children out there, brothers and sisters. She was the mother of all to everybody. She's, she's loved by all. And, uh, the good name she has left behind will keep the Christ. Jesus. <laughs> 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 
She provided the resources and connections that enabled many people to seek greener pastures for themselves, both in Nigeria and in diaspora. She inspired and enabled countless people to discover and fulfill their destinies. Indeed, late evangelist Felicia Nahu was a pace setter and rightly called the Dockers of her generation and beyond. Her former pastor, Rev. Dr. T.U.B. Obakbolo of CACGM, fondly referred to her as Felona the Total Woman because of her attributes and desire for excellence, her services to the Lord and humanity in general. She was a member of God's Kingdom Ambassador, GKA of CACGM. She was the life president of the lovely Matrons Club, the club she and some of her delectable, elegant friends founded in 1981. The club was so dear to her heart and she paved the way for many in the lovely Matrons Club to strive in their businesses and also keep their homes as wives and mothers. She was awarded Justice of Peace in 2006 by the adjusted government in recognition of her unquestionable integrity, selflessness and contributions to the development of a dose state as an investor in the welfare of the people. This is with a mandate to help promote and protect the rights of the people by ensuring justice for them. Adding to that, she was awarded an honorary doctorate degree in business administration by Atlas University Philadelphia in Pennsylvania State in the United States of America in 2009. This is in recognition of her entrepreneurial skills and management. Late evangelist Dr. Felicia Onewu was an epitome of beauty, elegance, class, and style. She was fondly called the Omomebo One of the whole world by her admirers and friends. Late evangelist Dr. Felicia Onewu lived a good life and fulfilled her destiny. She is survived by many children and grandchildren, siblings, near and far relatives, in-laws and numerous friends. She succumbed to death after a brief illness and transitioned to be with her creator and God on the 29th January 2022. She exited the stage of this life when the ovation was loudest. This is evidenced by the level of genuine outpour of condolences and eulogies by well meaning people both in Nigeria and in the diaspora. Their good behavior, their good action, there are good things they have been doing. She will remain and should not falter. Lady Felicia Nero, may her soul rest in peace. She, she was my mother's friend, very close associate of my mother. And from there, the children, everybody became one family. And from childhood, I've always known her to be a very good woman. A woman, gentle, beautiful, beautiful outside, beautiful inside. In fact, I remember this is when my brother beats us and my mother is not happy with us, and my father is not happy, we just go to house. Oh, really, really, right? Pets you, make you happy. 
Then later in evening, we take you home and beg on your behalf. So we always see her as our protector, our friend, and she will always beg on her behalf. Also, when our children will grow up. In fact, that open land, a past local road, all the families, husband, wife, children, we all grew as one family on that street. Until today, we the children, we still uh, exhibit that love, affection, and oneness. Lucky Onawu is my friend from way back in the university. Uh, through Lucky, I got to know the mom. I would say Lucky's mother is everybody's mother. She was not just an, an ordinary woman. She was a woman that was highly industrious, with good and positive virtues and, att and attributes. She was someone that would take anybody in. The moment she, she recognized you as one of the friends to her children, she will take you as one of our own, our own uh, children too. She was a woman who loved God so well. I remember she was one of the uh, very uh, committed members in Christ Apostolic Church of God Mission. She was a woman who feared God, who revered Him, and stood for everything a good Christian woman and a virtuous woman should be. The news of her transition came to me as a rude shock because I never knew when she was ill or when she was uh, indisposed. So when I heard that she had passed on, I could really wish that the legacies that she had uh, left behind, the values for which she lived. Being that of a mother who cared for her children, most especially, and ensuring that her children got the best out of life. I wish that those values are kept. A strong lover of God. I remember the number of times that uh, Lucky would invite me to attend programs in his church. The mother was always there. She led her children in the ways of God and the things that were stimulate them to be better human beings. She has played her role in life, like I always say to everybody, life is a stage. And the, and the devils of anyone who is present at every particular point of time. Indeed, she lived a good life. She has touched all those that she made positive. She is sorely missed. I wish her continued peace because I have no doubt in my mind that she is in the presence of the Lord whom she has served and devoted most of her life to. She will be solemn missed by all and sundry, but we take solace in the fact that she is with the Lord. She has left behind a good name and a beautiful legacy. Thank you for all the kind words that we have heard. And my prayer every day is that God will grant us the grace that a good legacy that our mommy, legacy of honesty, integrity, hard work, excellent character, and loving the things of God that our mommy left behind who were pulled by the special grace of God in Jesus' name. The scripture says, the memory of the just is blessed. Proverbs 10, 7. May her memory indeed be a blessing now and always to all who knew her directly or indirectly. Rest on, rest on. The Iroko of Ahu and Ohumume families. The beautiful rose of the Onewu family. The Omamebo one of the whole world. The Ienogi of all. Adieu. 
most beloved mother until we meet to part no more in the presence of our God, where there will be no pain, sorrow, or dying and enjoy the bliss of life without end. Signed, Pastor Lucky on everyone.